Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, whether they're on the search for precious or out to claim treasure to prevent the resurrection of some dark evil overlord, these are the adventures of Bokenger or Operation Overdrive. So, I do have all the Zords, Mecha, whatever you want to call them for this series except for one. I do not own the Sentinel uh, Knight. I don't remember what he's called in Japan. The candy toy for that is available. It was just very expensive when I bought the rest of these, and so I just never picked it up. Uh, at some point, I'm going to have to go back and finish off the series, but I do have all the other mecha. So if I ever end up picking up Sentinel Knight, there'll be an update. But until then, let's start looking at Daiboken, or the Drive Max Megazord, and the parts that make it up. Starting with vehicle number one. This is Gogo Dump, or the Dump Driver. And then vehicle number two, that is GoGo -Go Formula or the Speed Driver. Vehicle number three is the GoGo -Go Gyro or the Gyro Driver. Four is GoGo -Go Dozer or the Dozer Driver. As you can see, there's not a lot of name change actually to these uh, to these between Japan and the U.S. And finally, we have. Vehicle 5, Go Go Marine, or the Sub Driver. Now we're going to take a closer look at all these in just one second here. And we'll start with uh, Vehicle 1. Vehicle 1, the Dump Driver, or Go Go Dump, is uh, a dump truck. Mostly in red, a little bit of sticker there and on the grill. Uh, you got yellow here. These are necessary. I think they're actually on the, uh, the Zords themselves on the show too. And, you know, storage for what will become uh, the weapon later on. Right now it's just a folded up pickaxe and a shovel. But very nice details on this. If the camera will focus. There you go. Very good details. You know, nice chunky looking tires. The bottom, the top, all that kind of stuff. Like I said, it looks good. Um, it rolls really well, actually. Whee! So it rolls really well. It's a very, very nice uh, mini plug collection here with this whole series. I actually quite like it. It's one of my favorites. Here is GoGo -Go Formula. Vehicle number two. White uh, and the number on the sticker. We got some gold vents picked out in stickers cockpit, the front. Again, very well detailed on these little plastic kits, especially for being so small. This is, uh, all, all the tires are plugged on, but only the back ones really turn. These are kind of stuck on there. It's a little tight. They don't really turn too well. So unfortunately, this vehicle doesn't really roll too well. Yeah, this is Google Formula. Alright, vehicle 3 here is the Gogo -Go Gyro or the Gyro Driver. And oddly enough, I think this is one of my favorite vehicles in this in the series, even though it's so simple. You know, the gyro blades can move up and down. Got some guns here. Oddly, you know, out of place red compared to the rest of it, but there's a reason for it. Bottom. I quite like this vehicle. Number three right there. Let's see. Number four is the Dozer. There you go. There is actually, uh, even though it's all sticker, there's all these details are underneath the sticker as well, except for the number four. The arm is really cool looking, actually. The gun turns. And uh, this has quite a bit of movement, too, actually. It's actually really cool looking for a little, for tiny, I mean look, this thing is teeny tiny, look at this. These are, this is a teeny tiny collection of vehicles here. And finally, number five, the sub, which actually I've looked and looked and looked and I can never seem to find a number five printed on here, which is kind of, like even if you move those, we got grasping claws. 
got the uh, the jet in the back here, cockpit. Due to how uh, some of the stuff it can do, gotta make sure that that line's lined up properly. You know, it looks like it has eyes on the front, which is kind of cool. Yeah, all these vehicles are really, really cool looking. Uh, I like I said, it's 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 one of my favorite sets. Um, I sometimes just display it as vehicles just because I really do like the vehicles in this one. Uh, so this does form uh, Diboken, uh, but it also has another form, a traveling form, right? So in Japan, this traveling form is called the Go Go Trailer, and in the U.S., it would be called the Mega Truck. So to get it to Mega Truck mode is actually really easy. Start with this guy. Flip that up. There is a thing in here. We just pull that out and clip it back in. There's two holes here and here, and the posts, and you just click done. To get the number two vehicle ready, flip the front up, and then I push on these white parts here to extend the back collapse it in on itself so and then there is a post on the bottom here and it'll plug into that right there like so and we got that part done uh, next is gyro using the two holes on the bottom there are little posts here and here on the fins of the vehicle and you're going to actually Plug it in, like so. And then fold down the gyro blades, like that, to hold on to it. So, that's all set. Take sub, fold the little graspy claws back, then you're going to fold the sub in half. And it's going to kind of tab in, there's, there's a slot here and a tab here, and they will, you know, go together. And then on the bottom, which is here, you've got that whole slot there. And there's two yellow tabs on the inside of here, and you're going to plug it in on this side. Like so. There. All right. And then take and turn the gun around. Fold up the bucket. All right. And then there is the hole here for the post on the other side, and you're going to plug it in there. And uh, here you go. Go Go Trailer. It is very silly, but hey, it's, it is a thing. It is a way to display it if you decide to display it. Uh, such, right, right? I mean, <laughs> really, what are you supposed to do? I mean, it's, it's an option, you know? It rolls. It's kind of fun, I guess. I <laughs> I don't know. Um, this this has always amused me on the show and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Operation Overdrive in the U.S. is actually one of the better received seasons, and it has some darker tones to it and all that kind of stuff. But the uh, the little bit of silliness that you know marks it as a, a children's venture is definitely there. So. You've got the go-go trailer, the, uh, I don't remember what they called it in the U.S. already. I have to look at my note here. It, the uh, mega truck. Now we're going to look at it as Diboken or the Drive Max Megazord. I actually kind of like the name in the U.S. The Drive Max Megazord sounds kind of cool, fun to say. Diboken's kind of fun, but it sounds more like a... Uh, like a, a staff weapon to me for some reason. So, alright, so start off with we're going to unfold the legs. These parts here we're going to fold back and into the cavity there a little bit, right? You can separate the feet. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There. There's a post here and a hole on the other side that go together. And then what we can do then is open up these black portions here on the legs and 
there are the yellow things in here that are a pain in the butt for me to get out because my hand is kind of big but flip them out and bam like so and that's his legs all done come up here flip this piece back up and then you're going to turn the whole part around and then uh, I usually put my fingers on either side of the opening on top of the gold po the yellow portion here and on the the waist right down here on the underneath of the waist and I just push down and it'll clip into place revealing the head and then this will just kind of sit on the back like a cape but yeah so this is uh, you know the whole one of those most of the body is made up of one vehicle deal, which is why the dump driver is so big. Here's his head. It's made to look like a piston, which to me was really cool. I don't know why I liked that so much in the show, but I did. But it's made to look like a piston. It does turn back and forth. But yeah, that's, that's the body and the legs all set. Uh, let's see. We'll do this part next to last. This is the chest, and he's all set. The gyro to get it ready, separate this red portion from the rest of the vehicle, and that's set. Rotate these, and this piece is set. And now for these. This is actually pretty much set already. All you need to do is to rotate the wheels out, and then inside is the fist. So you're going to just flip the fist out. And this arm is ready. For sub, we need to actually uncollapse it and then take and push the back portion of the sub forward till it clicks into place, revealing the other hand. Now to put them all together. So this is the easy part. Sub goes on the side, hole, post, boop, hole and post, boop, and then turn them around to the back and there are the two tabs here and we're going to tab it into the two holes here like so and then you just fold it down a little bit I at least I do like that and it just sits there he's now a backpack there is a small post here and a hole on this, and you're just going, before we do that though, look at this. Look at all the detail on here that they didn't have to put on, because no one's really going to look at the butt. I love that. I love that kind of stuff. That just tabs on simply enough. And then finally, the helmet, which I almost threw at myself. And you just put it on over his head. Bam. And here you go, Dieboken. Drive Max Megazord. I quite like this sword, even though he is actually um, he is actually very, very small. And for comparison, from Power of the Primes, I have one of the uh, I think they called them Legends class at the time. I've got um, this guy here. So we'll just get him ready real quick. It's very easy to do. Uh, what's his name? Not Brawl. Can't believe I forgot his name just now. Turn his head around. It's not Outback, but he is the same. I know. Brawn. There we go. So we got Brawn. Legends class. Comes up a little over halfway. So the Drive Max Megazord is a teeny tiny Zord. Teeny, teeny, tiny. Teeny tiny. Uh, but he gains a little bit of features uh, that were noticeable when it was the, um, the the trailer and all that kind of stuff. But he gets a couple new things, like the yellow on his legs that we pop out. Right? You, you don't see that because normally it's folded in underneath. Uh, get a closer look at the chest now. I like the little piston motif here. You've got the kind of like a crotch plate there. You know, the hand, everything else that you've seen basically, except for like the helmet. It's really cool. I like the helmet. The little missile ears. And that's it. He's 
He's nothing too spectacular, but he is one of my favorites. Now, he does come with some accessories. He comes with a shovel, which is this here. Come off, come off, come off. Comes with the shovel. Right, because uh, even though I think they were used as like a rescue force in the U.S. and all that kind of stuff, they're treasure hunters. So what's one way to you, you have to dig to get to treasure? So here's a shovel. And the other thing is, like I said, if you open it up, it's a pickaxe. Right, and he can hold both. All right, so there are little holes and little uh, posts in the palms kind of deal. You just line them up, and it plugs in. And it holds it really well, actually, for such a tiny little, you know, there. It's a tiny little thing, right? right? So you can hold them both. Or... They can combine into the weapon. So I like to do it so the, the posts that are on that we're plugging into the vehicle are facing the same direction. And there is a bar in here, a C clip. And you just push it together until it clicks. And then these will feed up inside of the shovel. And then when you push them, they click into place as well. And this is the Drive Max Megazord Sword or Diboken's Sword. And I actually really like it. It's really, really funky and cool. I love this thing. Because it doesn't look like it would be any good with the shovel portion, all that kind of stuff. But there you go. This is his sword. Plug it in. And now we're ready to vanquish evil. Wow. Uh, and, you know, last thing we need to go over is articulation. Diboken here actually has a huge range of articulation for an early, uh, well, early, you know, lay at, what, 2000, 2003, I think, Mini Plus set. We've got rotation, you got elbow, rotation here, a little bit of in and out there. The head, you do have to take off the helmet to turn it, but you can turn the head. Same amount of rotation on this side. You got an elbow and rotation there. Nothing at the waist, but forward. A good range of motion back. You've got some in and out with the only thing stopping it, the wheel. You've got rotation at the uh, top of the knee, and you've got a knee bend. And if you are posing it and you need extra stability, you can actually pull this out, and it will help it to hold into, you know. The only thing is that some of the, uh, the weight of some of the parts are a little tough. So, so you might want to tighten that up with a little nail polish or something like that, but very, very well done Mini Plus set. Uh, part of its joy for me is the fact that it's so well done. There's so much detail on it for something that is, I mean, I know I have bigger hands, right, because I'm a big guy, but look at this. this. This is a teeny tiny set, and it's really well done. Um... Honestly, this is one of those sets that, at some point, I'm really going to just finally break down and paint the whole thing, take it apart, paint it, and then, you know, glue parts together kind of deal for extra stability and hold, um, you know, instead of relying on the friction that uh, you put the to parts together with to hold it together. Um, yeah, this set, this set is an awesome awesome mini plus set uh, this is again there's very few DX sets that I've looked at that I've been like oh, I want it this is one of those DX sets uh, and not the American version if I if I ever go through and I buy this it's going to end up being the Japanese version for the lights and sounds uh, that come with some of them but also just because the paint applications and such are much nicer and also, if you're going to buy the whole series in DX, you're going to want to go with the Japanese anyways, because the U.S. only released four Zords in this series. They released Daiboken, they released um, uh, some of the add-on Zords we're going to be looking at on next Tuesday, and they released, I think, um, the Die Voyager, but they never released Siren Builder. They released something else instead. So, 
I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you. If you're going to go for this whole series, you're going to want to go Japanese. Um, if you want to buy the mini plug, you're going to have to hunt them down. This was literally when I bought it a year or two ago. It was literally like I saw it and I purchased it. It was the only Daiboken stuff I've seen in a long time where I had almost the whole collection. As I said, only missing the Sentinel, uh, Sentinel Knight. I have every other part for the Mini Plus collection. Sentinel Knight was a candy toy, not Mini Plus, so, you know, argument there. But that's who they released. They released Sentinel Knight as the fourth sword. But yeah, so there you go. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for hanging Oh, knocked them over. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. Um, uh, thank you very much for looking at one of my favorite Zords. And I hope to see you all on Tuesday. We'll be looking at... Um, we will actually not be looking at Dai, uh, the Dai Tenken. We're going to just be looking at uh, four peripheral Zords and how they combine with Dai Boken here. Just because it's going to be one of those kind of long connecting series. Alright guys, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Be happy, be healthy. Farewell.